Plastic production and pollution are a global crisis. About 8.3 billion tons of plastics has been produced since the 1950s. In Africa, 4.4 million tons of plastics are found in oceans and seas every year according to United Nations figures from 2010. Most of the plastics disposed comes from the daily use of single-use plastics. Plastic pollution runs from production to the point of disposal. We use fossil fuels to produce plastics. It's been a problem. Climate change crisis right now is an emergency, so we need to handle climate uh, change issues. So if we continue using plastics, I mean we are also continuing to contribute to the climate crisis, which is a really, really challenge. Plastics do not biodegrade. Plastics live for eternity, you know, destroying the environment. These plastics just came a few years ago, just some 50 years ago, there were no plastics. Toothpaste was in an aluminum tube, I mean. All containers for cooking fat were in tin, you know. Ninety-nine percent plastic in the nature for environment. No, no. So meaning get a kasana to the lake bigger if it are ban plastic. Nous vivons dans la souffrance à cause de ces pratiques. Il y a des plastiques en bouteille, des plastiques en papier, sans compter les ordures que les femmes qui font le marché au rond-point Madagascar jettent dans ce coup d'eau. Plastic pollution is a menace in every angle that you want to take. Um, Leave alone, they are an eyesore. Or when you walk around and you see plastics and litter everywhere, I don't think anyone gets happy by doing that. We have clogged our drainage systems with plastic materials. Those that are in the landfill, they are most of the time burned. And when you burn plastics, they produce a lot of toxins, including dioxins. Since they are made from um, fossil fuels, when you burn fossil fuels, of course, they produce carbon dioxide, which contributes further to the climate issue. Plastics are a menace. Plastics are a crisis. Much of the plastic that has been produced is disposed of in the environment. Either they end up in the landfills, or they are littered in our streets, and end up in the drainage systems, and some end up in the marine environment. And the biggest amounts of waste that go into the ocean is plastic. Plastic bottles, plastic cups, plastic bags, plastic straws, disposable cups and plates and forks, you know, they're ending up into the oceans. Some of them break into microplastics that are eaten by fish and uh, they poison the fish. Um, some of them strangle our marine life. A while ago, uh, a whale died from ingesting about around 7 kgs of plastics. I think it's important to protect the ocean because the ocean is the life source of the planet. Without the ocean, there can be no us. We get 50 to 70% of our oxygen from the ocean, no matter where we are on this planet. So for me, it's basically a matter of life and death. If we do not protect the oceans, we will perish. From the time I started diving to now, things have definitely gotten worse. We've noticed an increase in different types of plastic and other waste in the ocean. I noticed sea urchins, especially the ones called decorated sea urchins. They normally use leaves and shells to cover themselves in the heat. Today you will find these sea urchins covered with plastics. Obviously they don't know what the difference is between a plastic and a normal organic material. 
there are so many alternatives to plastics um, and uh, even we have the capacity to even innovate more. For the single-use bottles, for example, uh, we have the refilling system where you can go to the dispenser with your reusable uh, water bottle and just refill it. For the single-use carrier bags, uh, we have baskets that are made by local people, inspired by the African culture, the Kiondos. Women have organized themselves and they make these baskets. The problem is finding a market. Tabiria kuto de kasi yodo, nige thari wado mahote kudia kana siyoduka. Niyo doa kudelia masingira, nige tha ona vuruliu gidere. Nige tha ona idu Tokyo nebeisha. The narrative that uh, we can't do away with plastics because there are no alternatives to plastics. We have alternatives already being produced by our community members who are trying to sustain themselves, who are trying to make livelihoods out of these alternatives. So it's just important, it's just good that we support them. It's just good that the government also provides subsidies for them so that these products are affordable to everyone because they can't really compete with established industries. The plastic industry is already established. So if you want these initiatives to compete with an established industry like a plastic industry, then we will really be doing these people an injustice. My name is Dennis Otieno. I'm from Devoted Youth Foundation. This was a dump site and very dirty. So we decided to make it clean first and then we, the concept was at least to make children to, to have a better place to play. The youth in Kayole um, and the Devoted Youth Foundation have taken initiative and um, uh, has been working with Greenpeace very closely um, trying to clean up the area but not just cleaning up the area but also coming up with solutions to the plastic pollution. This is a group tunadil na usafi eh atoki kuona uchafu area yetu so anytime tulikuja huko chini tunaona huko kumechafuka hadi kulikuwa na maboshon ya watu hii nafanyika hapa hata tumezika watoto kadhaa huko Kenya sisi sasa hii tunafanya tunasafisha hiyo river na kuisafisha kwanza tunadil na hiyo plastic hiyo plastic imeshika uchafu yote unaona mpatakani chupa ina block majua lazi na block unaona they are providing solutions in terms of alternatives, but they are also managing what has already been put in the environment. Cleanups are like uh, first aids, you know. We are not solving the real problem. We need to solve the real problem of plastic pollution by cutting plastic from source. By cutting, I mean burning production of single-use plastic because as long as there is production we will always have this pollution and there is no need to produce something that we use barely for five minutes which does not get recycled or reused but gets into the environment polluting it in ways that cannot be told. We really just to face this crisis with real solutions and stop hiding behind false solutions. Uh, real solutions lies with reusing and refilling. False solutions lies with recycling. So when we clean and conduct brand audit, what comes out is that much of the products that they claim to have recycled are still in the environment. So recycling is a false solution. I think industries have done a good job at perpetuating a narrative that plastic is life, which is a fallacy because plastic is not life. Africa is awake to the effects of plastic pollution and more than 28 countries in the continent have banned plastic bags with offenders facing fines or prison sentences. This conveys Africa's desire to reduce plastic bags use. The manufacturers know that recycling is not working, but they have always hidden behind that narrative. So when you have a ban in place, 
it forces them to find solutions. The solution is them trying to move away from producing single-use plastics and finding alternatives. And if small groups like this one in Kigambura, uh, small groups like the youth group in Kayole can find solutions, what about the major corporations that are benefiting from the profits they make out of plastics? If they only invest in their research and development, they are able to provide viable solutions that are alternatives to the problem that we are faced with. The government needs to enforce the ban to 100% to press and to push industries producing plastics to commit to protect and conserve the environment. Prendre l'exemple de Rwanda, suffit seulement aux dirigeants africains pour pouvoir euh, éradiquer ce problème de plastique. Donc ce que nous demandons à nos dirigeants, c'est de faire le tout pour le tout et essayer d'éradiquer ce fléau qui est le problème du plastique. So it beats the logic of having a ban in place when people are applying for exemptions and getting those exemptions. So the government has to be more stern, more objective, and also be uh, more accountable. The government needs to extend this ban, not just on bags, but it has to go to all single-use plastics. Because even after the ban, we still have straws everywhere in our environment. We still have single-use uh, plastic bottles everywhere in our environment. And they are still just causing the same problem that was being caused by the single-use carrier bags. The cry to manufacturers and government is to urgently act. But what can an individual do to make a difference on plastic pollution? It is also our personal responsibility as citizens of uh, this country to take care of our environment uh, by um, stop littering, uh, being responsible by carrying um, water bottles that are reusable, refusing to take straws, for example, when they are offered in restaurants. We can also sign petitions as citizens asking for government to take action or manufacturers to take responsibility. So um, citizens have a role to play in this. Uh, and an active role will really help to solve this problem. The future that I want to see, you know, is a future of sustainability, a future with less plastic, because less plastic is fantastic, you know. And with less plastic means less pollution. If we don't deal with the plastic crisis issue urgently, then um, I'm not a prophet of doom, but I foresee more problems. So we will continue to lose livelihoods. We will continue to lose our marine life. We will continue to face flash floods, maybe at um, an increased level. Who knows? Because research is still underway to ascertain how much impact plastics have on human health. Africa has made strides in the ban of plastic manufacture and use. However, Africa needs to intentionally act in haste to stop plastic pollution at its source. What are you doing to reduce plastic pollution and to protect the environment? You can organize a community initiative Demand that businesses commit to a plastic-free future. Lobby your local government to break free from plastic.